In this presentation we're going to look at hexadecimal numbers and how to convert decimal fractions into hexadecimal form. So what we're going to do is convert the following decimal number into hexadecimal form 0.828125 so we're going to convert that. You just might notice there that it, uh, apart from the zero it has six decimal places. So uh, here's the steps we're going to take. First off we're going to multiply our number by 16 then we're going to break this up into the integer part and the fractional part. We're going to determine the hexadecimal equivalent of the integer part and with the fractional part we're going to return to step one. So these four steps we're going to follow for a while and then we'll be able to sort of uh, determine our answer once we've uh, followed these four steps. But uh, that's not the whole story. The, this is best done with a sort of little table like this. So uh, these columns sort of more or less correspond to those four steps and I'm going to sort of explain how to use those four steps and then how to get your answer from those. So first off we have our number here and this is the hexadecimal number. What I mean by that is the number we want the hexadecimal uh, for and so what we are going to do is multiply that by 16 so we get 13.25. Now we're going to break that up into an integer part which is 13 and we're, f we're going to find the hexadecimal equivalent of that and that is D. Next we're going to look at the fractional part of 13.25 and that is 0 0.25. Okay that's the fractional part there. Okay moving on so what we're going to do now is with this fractional part bring it back to uh, step one. So we're going to start all over again. So we're going to start all over the, uh, again with this. So we have this number here now and we're going to multiply that by 16 and we get 4. Now the integer part of 4 is 4. The decimal equivalent of the hexadecimal equivalent of the decimal number 4 is also 4 and the fractional part here is 0. Okay. So, uh, we have D and 4 here. So, let's look at those there. That, uh, in uh, going from top to bottom, those are the symbols that we require for our hexadecimal equivalent. And just to be clear, we're going from top to bottom uh, with some algorithms to go from uh, start to the bottom and work up, not with this, and not with fractional numbers. So the answer we're looking for is, so we have D and 4, so the answer we add uh, to what we're looking for in, hex, in hexadecimal form, uh, the answer is 0 0.D4, and that is our answer. So you might notice that, that that is actually represented with two characters rather than six. And that ends our presentation.